Hello everyone and welcome to a new e-learning course. My name is Mohamed Marani from Technology Academy and today we are going to start a very nice course which is a Power BI, Power Business Intelligence. So what is it? It's a tool which is going to allow you to uh, understand or to make use of your historical data to create a visual kind of reports. By creating a visual reports, we will be able to understand what is happening in our historical data, what is the conclusion, and what are the best decisions which we can make for the future, which, can, which we can actually make to enhance from our business performance. There are no prerequisites for this course, so anyone with any backgrounds can go ahead and can start learning about Power BI. You just need to be ready to spend some time and efforts to start learning about this tool. By the end of this course, you will be able to create something similar like this. You will be able to have different visuals on your reports. You will, you will be able to have different uh, type of data represented on each and every visual. So you will be able to do something similar by the end of this course. This course is going to be a project-oriented course. means we will start by defining the customer needs, the customer requirements, and then we will try to build a solution for that customer requirements. While we are building the solution, we will understand the workflow of the system, what are the features available, and how we can create a visual report. Now let us see the outlines. First, we will start by understanding what is Power PI structure, what are the components of this uh, Power PI and how they are working all together. We will see how we can do the installation, how we can do data transformation, and also how we can load the data, how to create a relationship between tables. So we have different tables. We will, we will try to see how we can link between all of them. This is the meaning of a relationship. And then after that, we are going to uh, see how we can use DAX programming to create some formulas. The formula which usually we have like in Excel, we have some, some way to create a formula. Here they use DAX, which is data analysis expression. We're going to use this programming to create a formula in Power BI. We are going to see how we can do that. Also, we are going to see how to create the reports, how to start, uh, how to uh, select a certain visuals, how to represent our data using these visuals based on the customer needs. Don't forget that we are going to do all of this to fulfill a certain customer needs. And then after that, we are going to share the final reports with the customer. This is the problem statement. We need to create a visual report, which is going to show the order quantity per product, to show the order quantity per product subcategory and product category. So I want to know which product category is doing better, which, is, which subcategory is also doing better. I need to know also what, which product is having more return, which product is usually customer is returning it. Also, I need to know which territory is, is, is performing better. So let us assume that I'm doing a business uh, in different regions. So I want to know in which region my business is doing better or my business is not doing very well. Also, I need to know the total profit for a certain time period. So I want to know the total profit for the last week, for the last month, uh, for different territories, uh, for a certain time period. So I should be able to show this all from my visual reports. To do this, of course, I need to start by, you know, getting the data from the customer. So I have, so I have already gathered a certain information, a certain sheet, a certain CSV file, which I'm going to share with you using Google Drive. So I'm going to share it using this Google Drive link. You can go ahead and download it. We are going to use these files to create finally our visual reports, to create finally our visual reports. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to build the solution uh, for this customer. And while we are doing this, we will learn a lot of different features of Power BI. So let us start now learning about how to create a visual reports.